Ella, Chapter 16, The Big Rock It was a cool and misty morning in St. Louis Obispo, California, St. Louis to the locals. Ella wanted to sleep until she woke up. Gabby had been up since before daybreak watching earthquake safety tips on TV. She learned that St. Louis is ground zero due to a nuclear power plant called El Diablo that was less than two miles away. You have to be on marijuana to live in a place like this, thought Gabby. Luckily, she still had some with her, and she went into the bathroom to wake and bake. Breakfast at Margie's diner was spectacular. Both women had avocado, cheese, and mushroom omelets. Eggs, avocados, cheese, mushrooms, two biscuits, and orange slices. Yummy! Now, exhaled Ella, I'm ready to see the ocean. All right, Gabby agreed. I suppose I can wait another day for my recommendation. I'd like to see the ocean, too. The pair set off. With directions from the lady at the front desk and well-marked streets, they found themselves on a winding road that went uphill. They passed a sign urging drivers to watch out for deer and another that pointed the way to Montagna de Oro. This seems odd, noted Gabby. Well, the signs say we're going the right way, assured Ella. Sure enough, after a few more twists and turns, the car came to a sandy parking lot. They got out and followed the path from the lot through a span of seaside flora and down a steep embankment which Gabby and Ella had to run down to keep from falling. They had made it. The Pacific Ocean echoed back from the cliffs along the shore. It roared. The waves were huge. A lone surfer passed them on their way back up to the parking lot. Along the way, Ella stopped and looked across the distance. What's that over there? she asked. Gabby peered across the water and along the shoreline. I don't know, she admitted. Want to go see? You can read my mind, smiled Ella. Fifteen minutes later, they found themselves in Moro Bay. It was a little disappointing. It was the usual seaside town with the usual tourist fare. Art boutiques, restaurants, and t-shirts. The couple enjoyed their fish tacos, which Gabby almost shared with the seagull. After lunch, they made their way to El Moro, the rock a gigantic granite boulder overrun by seagulls and beach squirrels. No lie, beach squirrels! Gabby found, too, that the rock was actually a volcanic plug. So not only was she in the land of earthquakes, less than two miles from a nuclear power plant, now she found that she was on top of a volcanic area, too. Gabby thought to herself, you really do have to be on medical marijuana to live here. To be continued.